but it doesn't burn at <laughs> Hello my loves, I am back with a new video and I am back with a review. Today I am going to test out the new MAC product which is called Plenty of Pout Plumping Lip Gloss. And I believe that this is MAC's first actual plumping lip gloss. I know that they used to sell the plush glass lip gloss which had a little bit of mint in it and they said that it was going to give you a little bit of a fuller lip. Well I tried it, it did tingle a little bit but it didn't do anything for me. But now they have a actual lip plumper so we're gonna test it out. And for those of you who know I have lip fillers so these are my natural lips, no lipstick but um, I do have lip fillers. But the last time I did my lip fillers was more than one year ago. So there is still a little bit of um, filler in my lip, but not too much. And as you may know, my two favorite lip plumpers are the one by Too Faced, the Extreme Lip, an Extreme Lip Injection. Yeah, I believe that's what it's called. And then the Smashbox Lip Plumper. I like that one as well. The Smashbox has a little bit of a pink undertone once you apply it, but... I'm fine with that because I always apply lipstick on top of it. So, I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, let's test it out. Um, I fill my lips the way they are right now. I'm gonna apply it and then I'm gonna, you know, place the two videos next to each other. And I think I'm gonna leave it on for about five minutes because that's what I do with the Too Faced lip injection. Uh, the first five minutes, it burns like hell. I like that because I know that that is going to make my lips a lot more full and bigger. So let's hope the one by MAC is going to do that as well. If you look at the lip gloss, it's actually not really a clear lip gloss. It kind of has a soft pink tone. So I don't know how that will look on my lips, but let's give it a try. Okay, so it feels like velvet it's not a lip gloss it's I don't know it feels like Vaseline that's how it feels like very um lip balmish lip balmish really you know like the Vaseline in the little jar you put on your lips on dry spots that's how it feels and it smells like mint which I like very much uh all right so when I apply lip plumper, I also apply it like on my lip line because that's going to make it bigger. All right, so the lip gloss is on. It tingles. It tingles a little bit. I'm just going to wait. Maybe it's going to tingle more. Um, But it feels very, very soft, like very Vaseline, not lip gloss. The one by Too Faced, the lip injection, that's a gloss. And this is more of a... Cream. Yeah, I think it's more of a cream. Okay, so it has been a minute and it just starts to burn a lot more. Like it burns a little bit of pain, but it doesn't burn as much as the Too Faced lip plumper. It's like a, it's a regular burn. The other one is like, you know, you are in hell. Because if you apply that on your skin, your skin will get red. Even my skin gets red when it's like, right here where my mustache is um so it's a pretty extreme product but um what do you think is it doing anything for my lips besides burning and tingling i think this is a good lip plumper for people who are new to lip plumpers and you just want to try it out and it not being too painful but you still can handle it a little bit I remember that my mom accidentally bought a Too Faced lip gloss and she didn't see that it was a lip plumper and she bought it. And she was doing some shopping, wearing the lip gloss and she was calling me like, Sabrina, what is happening? My lips are on fire. And then she showed me what she bought and it was a lip plumper. I was like, okay, well, thank you, mom, because now it's mine. But she couldn't handle it at all. And my mom can handle a lot of pain with a lip plumper on her lips. She didn't like it. And my sister doesn't like it as well. Okay, so it has been uh, more than five minutes, actually. And this is how my lips look like. What do you think? It's so hard to tell if there's any difference because I can still feel a tingle a little bit. Um, and I think that the upper lip is a bit more plumped. But it's not a big difference at all.
It's so hard to give a review because I have to see like the footage of my lips before applying the lip plumper and then after, but ugh, Jesus. But as far as I could tell, I think that it plumps your lip a little bit, especially my upper lip, like up here, just a little bit. It makes it a little bit more full, but it's not an extreme lip plumper. So if you are looking for a soft, not too painful lip gloss that's gonna plump your lips, I think this is a good choice for you. The color, I think it made my lips a little bit more pink. So yeah, that was my quick review on the new MAC Plenty of Pug Plumping Lip Gloss. I don't know what the release date is, but if I do know, I will announce it on my Insta story. So if you're not following me on Instagram, it's just my name, Sabrina Anice. I will link it somewhere on the screen. I want to thank you so much for watching. And you know that if you want to see more videos, and I am planning to film a lot more videos because I have like a few weeks off. So that's pretty cool. And I'm planning to film a lot more things exciting things are coming up so if you want to see that then please subscribe to my channel and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate it and you know that if you have questions you want to comment there is a section please do feel free but keep it nice i want to thank you again for watching and i'll talk to you soon